Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergi. Deadpool is a super popular hero and one of my personal favorites. I'm a big fan of funny comics and Deadpool never fails to please. But his comics have their fair share of things that are just kind of dumb. That isn't to say they're bad, often the dumbness makes the comic even better. And honestly, a lot of these might be best classified as funny moments, but with Deadpool, most moments are funny moments. Here are the top 10 dumbest Deadpool moments of all time. Number 10, Booby Traps. This one's taking a break from the comics. In the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show, we saw Deadpool fighting Spider-Man. At one point, a trap was sprung with arrows shooting at them, so they dive into water that turns out to be piranha infested, and they get bit. They shake off the fish, and Spidey mutters, Booby Trap. And of course, Deadpool starts laughing. Why is he laughing? Well... <laughs> You said traps! <laughs> I mean, trap is a pretty funny word. Number 9. It's just a mask, dude. In Deadpool number 9, Deadpool had just finished flirting with Black Widow, with some success actually, and was listing off their similarities like, We're both into guns, we both like kicking people, when he was interrupted by Taskmaster, who drops a bomb with, You both have faces that make children cry. Oh wait, that's just you. Damn! Then in an uncharacteristically non-clever retort, Deadpool replies, Oh, you're one to talk with that stupid skeleton face on your face. Oh, you mean this mask that I can take off? <laughs> F*** Taskmaster. Yeah, that was pretty dumb weight. Number 8. This is one that I'm sure many of you know about, but it's just so dumb I can't leave it off. As you may know, Thanos has kind of a thing for death, even going on a quest to destroy everything in existence to impress her. Yes, her, death's a woman. Come on, get with the times, it's 2017. Anyway, Thanos realizes that death is kind of crushing on Deadpool, so he used his power to make Deadpool virtually immortal, so that he could never be with death. What a punishment. Hey Thanos, death totally said I'm hot, can you make me immortal too? Number 7. Deadpool is a great dad. And by great, I mean terrible. In 2014's Deadpool number 34, Wade had a heart to heart with his daughter Eleanor, and he's just the worst role model ever. First he gives her the lovely piece of wisdom that she should always carry a knife in her shoe for good luck. Then he does his own version of a pull my finger joke involving said knife. You know where that's going. While she does seem to laugh it off, these are not the type of life lessons you should be giving to your impressionable child. Number 6. Nicknames are hard. In A plus X number 8, Deadpool is working alongside Hawkeye and he tries to come up with a nickname for him. But apparently it's super hard because Hawkeye has heard all of them. How often do people call you Legolas? All the time. Nice shooting, Hunger Games. Heard it. Dude, Brave, the girl from Brave. Sorry, man. Man, I can totally relate. I grew up with the name Ron. Do you know how many times I was called Ronald McDonald? Do you understand the trauma one faces when people sing this stupid freaking Harry Potter Puppet Pal song every time they meet me? Ron, Ron, Ron Weasley. Oh, stop. Number five, pancake time. When Domino was sent to invite Deadpool to join the X-Men, he had a different idea. He had previously cooked up 372, 844 pancakes and put them in a pool. It was all part of the plan. He was then on a rooftop when Domino came to talk to him, and he threatened her with his gun, forcing her onto the glass roof, then caused her to fall into the pool of pancakes. And you may be thinking, well that's pretty weird that he made them just for a dumb joke, but it's even dumber than that because they weren't even meant to be part of the joke. He just straight up made them because he was bored. Number 4. Ice-T is an X-Man. Well. Not really. But apparently, Deadpool gets him mixed up with the X-Men. In 2008's Deadpool number 17, when Deadpool was trying to kill King Cade in the name of the X-Men, to convince his inner monologue that it's okay to kill the police officers that were after him, he claims that the X-Men kill cops, and that they even wrote a song about it. To which the inner voice says, that was Ice-T. But hey, Ice-T, Ice-Man, I can understand the confusion. Plus, he, like the X-Men, has a penchant for black leather. Man, is Ice-T an X-Man? Number 3. That time he tried to prevent the creation of more heroes by killing the fictional characters that inspired a number of the heroes. In Deadpool Killustrated, we see Deadpool going metacidal, killing a whole whack of our favorite fictional characters from various books. Just slicing out Don Quixote's eye, tearing through Moby Dick's blowhole, even stabbing Pinocchio in the head. And and momentarily seeing him as his inspired hero vision. Uh, don't get me wrong, this whole series was absolutely amazing. It was so sick seeing what characters inspired what heroes. But the dumb thing is the premise of why he was sent there in the first place. The scientists working for him thought that since he knew his own world too well, sending him to another world could confuse him enough to let them defeat him. But they knew if he killed the Ideaverse, it would erase a bunch of 
their world and they still sent him there rather than, I don't know, putting him in a steel room and never letting him out? Kinda dumb. Number two, gotta have my hippity ops. In Deadpool Suicide Kings number one, Deadpool was offered a very lucrative job where he would receive one million dollars for saving a young rich man's family. At first he was reluctant to take the job. What changes his mind? He imagines what he could do with a million dollars. And what he imagines is him on a hippity hop surrounded by sexy ladies who are also on hippity hops. And then he asks where one would buy hippity hops in bulk. Yeah, that's a wise economic choice. Number one, genius tactics to cushion your fall. In 2013's Deadpool number 10, Deadpool found himself falling off a building, but he comes up with an amazing plan to help him fall to safety. He decides to eject his poo to make him lighter. <laughs> this sounds pretty dumb, but if I'm being honest, if I found myself falling off a building, I'd likely find myself ejecting my poo whether I plan to or not. But I'm not convinced it would actually work. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I sure as hell enjoyed writing it. Any excuse to go back and read Deadpool comics is always welcome. If you like what we're doing here at Top 10 Nerd, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Let me know your favorite Deadpool moment in the comments down below. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie LaForge with Top 10 Nerd. Later nerds.